A program designed to get young black and Latino boys in and through college is not only impacting the Bay Area, but the nation. The 13th Black Brown College Bound Summit goes from March 7th to 9th, and I'm joined by Dr. Keith Berry with Hillsborough Community College and HCC student Noah Campbell. Thank you guys so much for being on the show this morning. Thank you. So for people who may not be familiar with the summit, uh, Dr. Berry, can you talk a little bit about what it's all about and what will be happening throughout these days? Sure. Uh, the Black uh, Brown College Bound Summit was designed uh, around about 2006 to bring practitioners together, educational uh, practitioners, to try to focus on uh, improving um, uh, best practices uh, for ensuring that African-American and Latino males stay in school and finish and graduate and go to college. And so this uh, three-day event has some big names attached to it. You guys pull, pull some names out of the hat and you guys have uh, some journalists coming down. Certainly. Uh, we have uh, our keynote speaker is going to be James Brown. Uh, he's with another network, but uh, he is going to be our keynote speaker. He's a Harvard grad, uh, played basketball at Harvard, uh, and certainly uh, men and women who enjoy football will certainly know him uh, from his uh, broadcast as an Emmy uh, award-winning um, uh, broadcaster. We also uh, have uh, Dr. Michael Eric Dyson, who's going to be speaking as well, and he's uh, all over the media, uh, uh, a provocateur, a uh, very interesting man, uh, Georgetown professor uh, as well. And um, there'll it, be several speakers. In fact, the opening is going to be done by our own Mayor Bob Buckhorn. And uh, if you've ever seen Bob speak, he can uh, motivate people to run through a wall. Absolutely. And not to mention our uh, sports anchor, uh, Brandon Baylor, is also going to be emceeing one of those events. So that's always a fun that's right. thing that's right. to have. And then, Noah, you've been going to these summits for quite some time. Can you tell me what it's like to see this, these faces of, of these uh, boys who look so much like you, to see you, you know, doing something that they want to do? How, how does that inspire you to keep going? It's very motivating, it's very inspiring to see people who look like me, um, who are doctors and lawyers and scientists and so forth. It just makes me think that I can overcome any obstacle that comes my way. When you see those young boys, do you feel like, do you remember being in that position where they were? Oh yes, definitely. Um, when I talk to them, uh, they, they tell me about their previous experiences, the different um, backgrounds that they, um, that they lived through and it makes me reflect upon myself and I communicate with them and um, we venture out and think about what we can do to um, be better for ourselves, be better for um, our community, do better for our community. And Dr. Barry, you are the Dean of Academics at HCC Ebor. Tell me, just uh, you know, talk about some of the issues that these boys are facing to get into college or maybe some of the things that we don't well, think about. Many of the young men uh, have a lot of uh, obstacles they have to overcome. Uh, first generation college students, um, uh, some of them have uh, come from backgrounds where uh, the academic preparation is not as strong. Uh, we found through the data that we've uh, gleaned through that this is necessary not only at Hillsborough Community College but across the nation. So that's why we started uh, having this uh, kind of summit in the first place so we can bring all these practitioners together so we can figure out what best practices are being done across the country and share these ideas with others. And this is for professionals and students so if people want to register um, because space I'm sure is limited how can they um, find more information through your website? Uh, they can go to our website www.hccfl.edu forward slash bbcb easy to remember and of course we'll have this on our website too so that you can get more information guys thank you guys so much for coming on the show thank, thank you. you for having us no problem.